Hello to Richard and the trustees at FGC. Hi and welcome to another installation. This will be our March update coming to you early April for, for generations to come. Nice to see you again. Last week or last month we talked about putting together an actual presentation documenting uh, a visual map of all our partnerships, uh, our programs, our pilot programs, and what we hope to create for the coming year. And, and that is now complete. So I will be sending this to you shortly, uh, along with an update and status of our progress. It just needs to go through the editing process. All the elements are there. And, and those elements include our potential supporters, our uh, potential partnerships, uh, our potential pilot programs, and our, our potential business plan for the year. I say potential because we aim to do what we say we're going to do, but at the moment um, it's all practical, real-world, tangible stuff that you can put your finger on. Um, I think our most exciting connection is, is with the University of Michigan because we become a playground for them to engage all their academic activities. Um, we're really excited to work with some of the, the medical system, Trinity Hospital for, for adults and people who need lifestyle change, and Mott's Children's Hospital for kids, mainly their families, who need um, to get out of the sterile environment of the hospital and create this really nice connecting to nature and each other and oneness activity that's really needed. So we're plugging in to a real life, ongoing, continuous need and providing a solution. Um, last time, you know, we talked about spirituality, oneness, uh, their connection being a very personal endeavor, and it is. And we're providing that opportunity um, because they need it and are wanting it. So for this season, we have an interesting shift in, in, our, in our business model. We are writing specifically for grants, and we, we did one with the University of Michigan, in order to support pilot programs that then become the media for our marketing and outreach in order to create our, our larger retreats that we have in store for the coming years. This year so far um, we are in line for the Ginsburg grant to run a uh, co-created program with the University of Michigan, ourselves, Michigan from the Heart, Mott's Children's Hospital, and some of the other community members involved in, in doing um, living art forms. And it, it's our intention to create this uh, real deep connecting to nature activity for these kids from which they'll create a very artistic um, agricultural garden representation of, of themselves in an artistic pattern uh, and will plant flowers in those gardens that will grow for years and years and years. Um, basically it's an annual uh, representation of this one single event. That's very special to us because the University of Michigan Art and Design faculty are going to film it and create a documentary of it. And, and this is fantastic because once again it's very practical, it's very tangible, and it's something that we can put in people's hands and say, look, here is a need, here's an opportunity to fulfill that need in a very deep, meaningful way. Here's how you do it, here's who you connect with, here's where the funding sources are, and here's what it looks like. How does that feel to you? And, and that is our intention to, to create these pilot programs throughout the year so that if we go deep, others can you know, manage the span of humanity and get the word out. Again, that will be fed through our living web portal, our learning center for, for all of these activities. So that is very exciting, very exciting for us. As of today, we stand in a place of um, real life activity with real people backing it. And I guess I will leave you with this, that uh, Sarah Warber at the University of Michigan Integrative Medicine Program um, says that what we are doing is actually her life dream, which is fantastic. We provide the opportunity for her to engage all her academic, you know, cognitive, cerebral, activities in a real world way and they're interested in doing a pre-assessment 
a post-assessment and a follow-up to actually design programs for integrating the retreat experience back into their lives. So we are going to do this in terms of uh, dirt to plate food activity. We're going to do this in terms of, of adults needing lifestyle change. We're going to do this in terms of not just kids, but their families, getting them uh, reconnected with, within the community. And we're also going to do it in terms of um, you know, land stewardship and, and sustainable agriculture. So all of these come together to create a really interesting partnership that passes the message of creative oneness into our local community and nationally through our web learning center. So stay tuned for the presentation. It's coming really soon. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, thanks again for your support.